Thank you, Senator Cornyn. Next would be Senator Bennett, followed by Senator Cassidy. I'm going to yield to Mr. Cassidy if that's all right. Nobody can say there's no collegiality Thank in you. the finance I'll, I'll take Senator, it up. Senator Cassidy. Thank you. Um, Ms. Madam Secretary, the President keeps saying he does not wish to have cuts in, in uh, social. Is he aware that under current law, when the program goes broke in nine years, that there will be a 24% benefit cut for those who are current recipients? Is he aware of that? Well, it's clear that Social Security... But is he... I apologize for interruption, but I have limited time. Is the president aware that when Social goes broke in nine years, under current law, there's a 24% cut in benefits for people who are currently receiving? If we don't do anything about it, I think that's about right. But okay, let me the ask. The president will want, wants to strengthen Social Security. And, and the sure $4.5 trillion dollars of taxes the president has proposed, are any of those taxes going to shore up Social Security? I actually know that answer. The answer is of the $4.5 trillion in taxes he has proposed, not a dime is going to shore up Social Security. Does the president know personally anybody who is dependent upon Social Security, and if their benefits are cut by 24%, they will slide into poverty? It's hard for you to know, uh, so I'll give you a pass sure that on that. The president knows many people on Social Security. Then why doesn't the president care? He cares very deeply. Then where is his plan? He stands ready to work with Congress That's a lie, to address. because when a bipartisan group of senators has repeatedly requested to meet with him about social, so that somebody who is a current beneficiary will not see her benefits cut by 24%, we have not heard anything on our request. And we've made multiple requests to meet with the president. Now, I, you can't comment on that, I realize that, but that is a fact. And if you've been told to say he stands ready to meet, I will tell you there's absolutely no evidence because we have not gotten our meeting. Well, I believe the president does stand ready to work well, again, with Congress empirically, that is not to address true. this issue. Um, now, the president in the past has proposed um, increasing taxes on those making over 400000 to pay for it. Although he's not made that formally, he has said that in the past. Um, now, he's also proposed to tax them more to pay for Medicare and also to close the debt and deficit. So what would the rates have to be on that 2% of Americans who earn over 400 k in order to do Medicare, the debt and deficit, and also to address our 75-year shortfall in Social Security? Do you have any sense of what the rates would have to be? Well, he has proposed explicit increases in tax rates on very high income. But do you think it's realistic that he can pay for Medicare debt and deficit and also address a 75% shortfall in social, a 75-year shortfall in social by only taxing, by only a going, the only thing he's going to do is to lay higher taxes on those who make more than 2%. I'm sure there's a projection of how much those rates would have to be. Do you, can you tell us what those rates would have to be to do everything he is saying? I, I can't tell you that, but I do know that he's put on the table many proposals that would raise very substantial revenues. But of that $4.5 trillion, not a dime is going to social. And if, you've not, if you cannot tell me, I presume that they've not actually modeled what those rates would have to be, which tells me that he's actually not been developing his plan. Now, this is incredibly worrisome from a president who should be sympathetic with someone who, under current law, is going to get a 24 percent cut in her benefits. The president feels com is completely committed to protecting seniors who rely on Social Security. Now, if, if, if we doubled our debt-to-GDP ratio, um, just theoretically, if you will, and aside from our conversation, if we double that GDP to debt ratio, what effect would that have on the economy? So um, right now and in the president's budget proposal, the- no, I'm going to ask you just the theoretical independently of the budget proposal. If we were to double the debt to G GDP ratio? Yes. 
um, I, I don't see why we would need But to if we it. did, just, just, just you're an economist, if we did, what would be the effect upon the economy? Well, it would tend to raise net interest costs. Would it be a negative effect on the economy? Of course it would be. Of course, yes. Yeah, of course it would be. Uh, we've actually modeled this. For the president to do nothing, let's assume that we cast aside current law and we just double the national debt, and that's what it would do. Um, it would have a devastating effect upon the economy. CBO says they cannot model the deleterious effects that would occur because of that. So we have a situation where the president has not proposed a single plan. He has turned down multiple requests for meetings with senators, and our options are a 24% cut on the um, a person currently receiving, doubling our national debt, which CBO says cannot be modeled, and you agree that would be a deleterious effect. Um, uh, and he's not modeled the tax rates that would be required if he just wants to raise taxes. Look, what I know is that the president is committed to Social Security. He stands ready to work with Congress, and he's put on I'm out of time. I don't mean many, to be rude, but since I've had multiple proposals. requests on a bipartisan basis to meet with him, and he's turned everyone down, that rings hollow. My, my, my colleagues out of time, and I would just caution colleagues. We've got plenty of differences around here, but accusing witnesses of lying is over the line. I accept that, and I did not mean that for the Madam Secretary, who is merely saying that which she's been told. I'm saying it for a, a, an empiric observation when the President says he's ready to meet, yeah, the, and he's turned time, down multiple The time times. of the gentleman's expired. Accusing witnesses of lying But I did not accuse her.